Good day. My name is Shiv Kumar. As I look at my own career and reflect on it, I would say the first thing is remember as you go through your career, there are many points of time where you need the company and there are many points of time where the company needs you. When you need the company, in those situations, you expect empathy from the company, understanding from the company, and you expect the company to take care of you emotionally. When the company needs you, they truly need you for exceptional performance and exceptional results. Or they're going through a transition and a transformation and they need you to steady the ship. You really need to make a great job of the times when the company needs you. So how does one do it? The only way to do it is a very simple philosophy I've followed all my life, which is do what is right for the company first, do is what is right for the team second, and do what is right for yourself last. I've seen many CEOs alter this order and suffer. One other advice as you go through this, never work for a poor boss. I define a poor boss as somebody who is intellectually dishonest and insecure. Never work for somebody like that. Bring it to the notice of the company. If the company doesn't do anything, move on. Cut your losses very quickly from bad bosses. Next, I would say, do your current job as if it were your last job. Leave a legacy in every job. When people think of legacy, they think of CEO legacy, CFO legacy. I would admit to you that a management trainee creates legacy. An area sales manager creates legacy. A finance manager creates legacy. So try and create legacy in every job. Third point, never chase anything for money. If you're good, money will follow you. If you have money, it doesn't necessarily mean you're good. I've seen a lot of people destroy their careers by going for short-term money. The classic mistakes which people make in their careers, I want to be a VP by 40. I want to be a CEO by 40. I need to get a lakh of rupees by this time, etc. Never do that. And finally, if you look at your career over a longer horizon, I would want you to think back and look at what I call contribution. Your contribution to company is obvious. Is your contribution to industry obvious? Is your contribution to academia obvious? Is your contribution to society obvious? As you finish your career, you'd want to get board positions or advisory roles and things like that. They will only come your way if you contributed back to society. So I would say be a giver. I've seen a number of givers rise to the top of organizations and society. I've seen very few takers win. I really like the book. I summarized it and sent it to all my friends. The two important things I certainly picked out from Molly's book, managing your career in two phases, the first part of 20 years and the second part of 20 years. He argues that most people are roughly at similar levels at the end of their first 15, 20 years. And the true difference happens only in the next 20 years. Absolutely right. Second, the only reason you would quit a company is for learning and fit. I've read Mowley's book, Catalyst. I would urge you to read it. And I'm sure you'll benefit from it. It'll make you reflect on your choices. Thank you and all the very best.